Verse number 11 of 1 Timothy chapter 5 reads, But the younger widows refuse, for when they have begun to wax wanton against Christ, they will marry, having damnation because they have cast off their first faith, and withal they learn to be idle. Again, there it is, being idle. People who aren't working. They learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house, and not only idle, but tattlers also, and busybodies, speaking things which they ought not. So we see here, again, the same, the same common problem is that they're idle. And this one is directed more towards the ladies, as we was talking about younger widows. People who, you know, they're younger and their, their husband has died, they've passed on. Um, so because of this now, they've got a lot of free time on their hands and they end up wandering about from house to house, get involved in other people's business, finding out what's going on, what's the latest news, what's the gossip, what is there new to talk about. And um, it says not only either, but tattlers also. What's a tattler? It's someone who's telling on someone else, right? So you, these ladies are walking about from house to house, so they're hearing all the news from different people and then they're going around to the other person's house. Oh yeah, did you hear about so-and-so? Oh yeah, did you hear this about so and so? And it's and it's not you know it's one thing to to share good news about people, right? It's one thing to say, hey, with us, you know, the Romeros, they're our friends. They're starting a church. They're leaving tomorrow. They're gonna have you know, it's a great thing to talk about. It's it's something nice. But this is talking about people where you know if I were to find something just just negative to say about them, that there's no reason to be said at all. Like oh well, did you did you know that so and so is you know involved in whatever kind of sin or whatever whatever it is that people want to talk about and get involved in or can you believe they let their kid do this it's like shut up don't worry about their kids you worry about your own kids or worry about your own business don't get so idle that you need to be so much involved in everybody else's business worry about your own business and it says but tattlers also in busybodies speaking things which they ought not so according to the verse there's a lot of things that you could be speaking that you ought not and we need to be careful about this because we saw in James chapter 3, hey, the tongue is a world of iniquity. The tongue is very easy to get you into sin. There's so many ways you can sin with your tongue. And this is one of the ways you can do it is by being a tattler or a busybody and speaking things that you ought not. And this is the solution to that. This is for the younger widows. Verse number 14 says, I will therefore, so because of this, because this happens, because they get idle, because they become busybodies and tattlers and go about and do this stuff, I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion the adversary to speak reproachfully. For some are already turned aside after Satan. So why is he saying this? Why should women marry and bear children and guide the house? Because it's going to keep them busy. That will keep them from being idle. When you get married, all of a sudden, now you have a job to do. You have to take care of your husband. You have to take care of the household. You have a lot of, you got a lot more work to take care of. And when you have children, even more work to be taken care of. You have to watch them, teach them, train them, do all this stuff, right? Um, it's going to keep you busy. And this is the role that God has laid, laid out for the younger women. This is, this is God's will. Uh, turn, if you would, to 1 Peter chapter 4, just a little bit further in your Bible. 1 Peter chapter number 4. We're going to look at verse number 12 of 1 Peter chapter 4. The Bible says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. So what he's saying here in, in, in 1 Peter chapter 4, he's saying first, you know, don't think it's a strange thing when the fiery trial comes. When you get tried, when you go through persecutions, and you're going through these difficult times, he's like, don't think it's a weird thing. We told you about this. He says, rather rejoice, you know, when the enemy comes and attacks you. But he's saying... And he says, if you be reproach, reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you. You know, you should be happy if the reason why persecution is coming is because you're living a godly life, because you're living as an example to Christians, because this, you know, you're doing what's right. Hey, rejoice and be happy 
But he, what he's saying is, if it's for other reasons, if you're suffering persecution because you're a murderer or because you're a thief, then that's obviously not a reason to happy, be happy or rejoice. That is not a glory for you um, to suffer in that case. And then he, he adds this list. Look at this list. Murderer, thief, Evildoer, these are all pretty bad things. This is like violating somebody else, right? Taking somebody's life, taking somebody's property, or doing evil, you know, injuring somebody, hurting somebody else, or a busybody in other men's matters. We have a tendency today to think, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Really? Because God just listed it with murderers, thieves, and evildoers. There's four things in that list. Being a busybody is one of them. This is a big deal. This is something that we shouldn't just say, oh, it's not that big of a deal, you know, uh, it's, it's fine to gossip. No, it's not. It's, it, you need to mind your own business. People need to, these days, mind their own business. And it's so, it's so prevalent, especially with the internet and social media today. Everyone just wants to know what's good. Did you see what so-and-so put on their Facebook page? Can you believe that? And it's just this talking and gossiping back and forth. People need to shut up and mind their own business. And look, these people that want to air all their dirty laundry on the internet, shame on you, but then shame on the other people who are, are all caught up in this and just want to talk about it with everybody else. Mind your own business. 